Hi guys, it's your host Saki and welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be talking about workplace problems, shenanigans, issues, and gigs. The gigs. Just a little disclaimer, this video is not like um, to complain about workplace situations. It's just me trying to like maybe get our youngsters a heads up on what will happen in the workplace for the new part-timers. Because I didn't expect any of this. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Number one, the newbie. Hi, I'm new. B. Okay, there's two parts to this one, so do not come for me first. Okay, first, the newbie is a stranger and it's gonna be your best friend or your worst enemy. That's the thing, you don't know what to expect on their first day. Is he gonna be nice? Or she gonna be friendly, or gonna be boring, or gonna be cuckoo, is it gonna be a <laughs> or a jerk, etc, etc. And it's really hard to tell because when your manager introduces you guys to each other, it's gonna be like, let's look presentable guys. Oh my god, this seriously smells like old coffee. Okay, Saki, this is our new um, barista and his name is Jill and Jill, this is Saki. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> exactly. It's like first day of school all over again. Oh my god, I miss wearing this apron. I need to work at Starbucks as a barista too. Hello. Hello. And point number two. When this newbie comes in, he needs to learn new skills, new techniques. And some new sh Oh my god, speaking of sh There's that one question. That one question that I was so scared to ask. Can I go to the toilet? <laughs> okay, back to the learn to the new to the sh I can speak good the English. Which this brings us to problem number two. Number two. Learning and showing the ropes. Hold up, hold up. This is a serious problem right here. The serious problem is how to use it or the best or better way of using it. I mean, you can explain, you can show all you want to the newbie and expect him to work. But if you don't show him your way, tell him your way, explain your way why you, and I'm talking about you, the one that is teaching the newbie the way you do it, then what's the point? No, serious story though. I used to work at Starbucks a few months ago and a few months before that, um, there's this newbie coming, you know, the gear. I I was like the oldest barista over there and I'm, I was like supposed to observe, not teach. The manager doesn't trust me. To observe and I was like observing her from the cashier side, like I was looking. And you know newbies they do very slow and shit and I was like and my Starbucks didn't have that much customers you know not a lot of customers we have customers but not a lot of customers and I was just over there like because it's only one drink and it took her I don't know quite long I mean if for me to remember, it's like around 3 minutes she did it. When I can do it under 1 minute, like seriously, 1 minute, that difference now. So I go up to her and I say, Girl, let me teach you. So I teach her my shortcut, the approvable shortcut. I don't even know, is that even a real word? Approvable? Approvable. Acceptable way basically. So I told her like some pumps you can pump faster like if you are a regular at Starbucks you can see the baristas like pop 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 not they pop 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 and sometimes they just like make noise at the bar and that's how we work because the shortest way to do it is actually quite fast quite noisy I mean that's why please please Teach me a lesson, mommy. Oh, papi. Show me how you do it. 
Number three, customers. Okay, this one only relates to FMB, like only FMB. Food and the beverages. <laughs> I heard that. We all know that we are living in a world where there's a lot of negative people. Okay, sure, maybe you had a bad day, or you broke up with your girlfriend or boyfriend, or you never get that booty. But for the rest of you, what's your excuse? The world is already a cruel place, and sure, you may be affected by it like a Pokemon, but you're gonna continue your life just like that, when you know you can do something about it? Or you're gonna be like ass ketchup and keep training to become better and 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 better Oh my god, this got pokey deep. All I'm saying is why spread your legs of negativity when it doesn't do you good? Like sex mama. Which brings us to number four. Number four, fake gestures. I can't talk. That was really, really bad. If there's one thing I hate more than bad quality of anything, it's fake gestures. Okay, the people who do this, and myself, I used to do this when I was a barista, I feel bad for you. Generally, to be honest, I feel freaking bad for you. I know you are paid to do the best in your work, but don't lie to me. I know it's hard. It's hard because your kindness is not properly appreciated. And I don't know how you are able to continue doing, doing that. Oh my god, I swear, because of this, I can't even speak my good English without looking cray cray. I mean, when I was working in FMB, I had to sing, I had to dance by myself like a weirdo looking cray cray and all ish the only reason why i do this is because it's the only thing that can overpower the negative <laughs> that customers treat me with to be happy at work because ain't no customers gonna do it for me <laughs> not all customers do it but i'm telling you seriously majority that i've experienced with I look cray cray though, because I never draw my inner corners. I look cute! Uh -huh. Number five, racism. I didn't know why I do this for racism. Okay, this, to be honest, doesn't only happen in workplaces. It happens anywhere and everywhere people want it to happen. Let me do a little story time for the last point of the video. Okay, I remember it was like my last few days of working at Starbucks and I mean I look gorgeous in makeup you know and I want to like uh, make sure my own like fellow co-workers my partner in crimes my managers and my <laughs> store manager to remember me so I was like you know what let's just do like a simple I, you know, just look glam on that last day, you know? Doesn't sound so much, right? I mean, it's just basically someone coming to work for their last day wearing makeup, which is a do. So I was doing my work, you know, like, -la 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 -la. thank you, and yes, I can help you in. And then my manager came up to me and was like, hey, yo, Saki, um, if can right, try not to serve that customer because um, she's actually effing racist. What? Yeah, the last time she came here, she almost wanted to throw our Starbucks cup at our other partner in crime. That bitch! And a few minutes later, it's Saki, Saki, Saki. What? Hey, remember the customer that I told you about? Huh? Yeah, that racist bitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just now, right? She asked me a question, you know. Why oh, you hire you gay people lah? Uh? Ooh, this bitch! I cannot. I cannot. This one is legitimately cheap. I mean, it's already bad. They ask my manager that homophobic question. Actually, to be honest, it's actually as bad as the racism part, but... We all know the gay. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, the thing is that you're living in a multi-racial Focusing on the multiracial. There's your race and three other races. And you have the mind to be racist? What the F? 
I mean, don't count religion in this. That's a different story. But race? I don't care what's your reason, okay? Either you have one, two, or three bad experience with someone from my race and you're going to label us the same... Like, really? You disgust me. Hell on my face! And yeah, despite the last point, I love everyone. I'm not racist. Yeah, I'm not racist. Like that, bitch! Yeah, anyway, I just want to put this out because one, just a heads up to the new generation who wants to take on a part-time job and number two these are serious if you ask me serious like issues if you want your employees to do better like ASAP if you want them to master it you must ASAP like that I can't step it off Yep, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and go down to the description below to follow my active social media. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. I post new videos every Saturday or Sunday. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Always and forever, Saki Swaggy. Ha! Ding!